Here's Tony White Jr. on the right wing. Around the screen. Tony is straight away. Three for the tie is good. And we're even at seven with 16.51 to go in the half. Left side to Drew. Underneath. Oh, nice pass to Willis Hall. And the Cougars lead 9-7. Got Tony White. Nope. Underneath the hall for an easy two. Great pass. Had Tony White. They were worried about him in the corner. Here's a two-on-one. And the ball stolen by Lawrence. Quick outlet to Monroe, and he will reverse jamming home. Right side to Sunberg. Pump fakes a three. Now wide open, squares up and buries it. Dirk Nowitzki. Now nah, that's the Sunberg. I'll Look at the smile. About. Exactly. We talked about before the game. I said, Matt, come on, man. It's a big time. The, the lights are coming on. 209 now to go first half. Here's Godlock straight away. NBA three is good. Oh, oh there's his first bucket. Look at Bobby Kremen smile. It Got it back. Baseline stolen by Breeden. Bad pass through it right. No. Somehow Monroe came up with it and jams it home. Threw it right to Salters, but somehow it got through his hands. And Donovan. Drew, straightaway three. Good! That's his second three of the night. Look at Bobby Crimmins. And the Cougars lead at 48-38. Their largest. Find Sunberg. Wide open for three. And Matt buries it straight away. That's his shot. Playing Dirk Nowitzki, able to knock it down. Baseline left. Teardrop is good. Maybe a foul, no call. This will be like referred to in the NBA. We call it Paul Pierce, Kobe LeBron time. In the college, though, we call it Andrew Godlock time. So. Hit, I think Godlock just needs to hit a three. Underneath the hall, out to Breeden. Monroe baseline left. Finds Breeden off the hall for an easy two. One minute, one minute remaining. Seven, six seconds. Tony, one on one in the lane, leans in. Layup good with 1.6 to go. And a timeout by Walford with 1.6 remaining. And Tony went one on one and he scores, and the Cougars lead 70 to 68. The senior from Knoxville, Tennessee. Fires down court, picked off by the College of Charleston, and the game is over. It was tipped by Gown Lock, and Monroe picked it off. And the Cougars win it by a final score of 70 to 68. And without Jeremy, they survive tonight. And they're now 8-0 in league play. Final score again, the Cougars win it 70 to 68. We'll take a timeout. Come back with the South Carolina Federal Credit Union postgame report right after this on the Bennett Hoffer Company, College of Charleston Radio Network.